Hey everybody, Solid7 here. We're out trying to find some rare or diamond elks today. Well, we're going to head out here. We're going to see what we can find. Guys, if you haven't already, definitely start hunting your diamond and rare elk, whitetail, and blacktails. Those are the species that are getting true racks first. So what, if you do not hunt them now, you won't have any of the perfectly symmetrical racks that we have in game at this time in your lodge. And that is something you're going to want. It establishes credibility. It establishes that you were getting these animals before true racks even started. And that is going to be a badge of honor. We're going to take a look at these ducks here just to see if I see any that I want. We found a piebald duck last time in this lake. I don't see one though. Looks like we just have level 2 normal ducks. So we're going to leave those alone. Now let's see here. Do I see anything else I want? Oh, you know what? Before I start going, I need to go grab my different weapons. I was having a bit of fun with the shotguns with Chaz out on stream. And I am not equipped for this hunt. So we're going to run on back. We're going to grab our... 338 and of course the Mosin stays in our loadout so we're going to scroll down here and let's see here we got the 338 now we just need to get rid of this bird shot here and we have the 338 bullets so we don't need to worry about that we have the right side so I'm not worried about that let's get rid of these extra collars here get rid of that not hunting moose so we're going to put that back all right that should be good we only need those three everything else should be good all right here we go uh just gotta set up my loadout i'm gonna put the p38 up at the top or the sulkin excuse me up at the top we'll move the 338 loaded up and we're going to grab our collars. We already have the elk collar in place, so we don't need to worry about that. We're going to put the snort reeds there, and we're going to put the other one there, and there's that. We'll move that up there. All right, we should be good to go. So let's head out and see what we find today. All right, female moose. We've already looked at the ducks. We know there's nothing we need there. Sometimes I get deer up in those hills, so we're just taking a look. Don't see anything. Alright, we do have blacktail. That is a level 3. And that looks like a decent sized moose. Uh, it's a level 4, so it's not going to be a diamond. If it was a diamond, I might be tempted to go back and grab my call and try to call him in. But it's level 3 moose, or it's level 3 deer, excuse me. That's what we're interested in, is the black tail, the white tail, and the Roosevelt elk. So we're going to try to sneak up there and just see the rest of his herd. Because a diamond is going to be back in those trees, and we're not going to be able to see him from this angle. We need to get into a position where we have a clear picture of what's around those trees. So just looking around, seeing if I see anything on the other side of those hills or anything taking its head up. Oh, we got a warning call. That is going to be from a male moose. I do not have a visual on him. No, I'm not seeing him. Alright, so we got female. I'm going to go ahead and creep to the edge of this hill because I've come over this hill so many times to find an entire herd of deer or elk or moose right out in the open just checking to see if that's a rare it is not so we're going to keep on going we're going to kind of stealth our way up here if you will just take our time do this right it's one of the things I love about this game you never know what's on the other side of the hill you know, it's, it's like Christmas morning every time you crest the hill. I 
was hoping to see that male moose walking around, but it doesn't look like I'm going to. So we're just going to keep going. Maybe try to get a shot on that level 3. I wish he was bigger. I wish he was a rare. But we'll, uh, what's this? It's a level 3 moose. We're not worried about that. So we're going to keep going. Oh, we got a we got a warning call over here. What's this? It's a female moose. That could be a problem. If we spook her into that herd, they're going to take off. And we'll never get any diamonds or potentially even any rares that were in that group. So we're going to stealth up here so she doesn't bother us. Uh, the wind's ideal for hunting this way. Uh, she is directly in our wind, so we might get... Whoa. Okay, we got a level 4 moose bull heading towards us. Is that the best option? And that's what you have to ask yourself. What is the best option for you to take at any point in time. We have that level 3 male, that level 3 buck black tail over there, the other level 4 moose, and we have this moose. I'm going to go ahead and take this moose. This is the one we want. The other one's not really giving us a good angle. And just double checking. Never hurts to get, take another moment, look through, make sure the one you want is indeed the best you can get. Alright, so I'm going to switch over to 338. We're already zeroed for 150. Just waiting for him to lift his head up and take the shot. I really don't want to take a neck or a head shot. Yeah, he's not going to raise his head. He's, it's just not going to happen. So we're going to have to go ahead and take the shot. Not ideal for me, but I can do it. Oh, okay. Let's go ahead and lay down so she doesn't spook while I take this shot. Alright, since I have no other choice, I'm going to go ahead with the next shot. Alright, about... Okay. That should be an instant kill. And it certainly looks like it is. We see him laying up there. Alright, let's go ahead and go collect. And we'll move on to the next. While we're walking up here, guys, we have reached 44 followers on YouTube. That is more than I ever thought I'd get. I appreciate each and every one of you. I want to say thank you for that. All right, let's see what we got here. We got a male moose, 858 is the trophy score. Not high enough to put in one of our lodges, unfortunately, but it is a gold and 1,052 credits into our wallet. So we're going to go ahead and take that. And we'll keep going on. Alright, let's take a look here. We have another level 4. Yep. I knew he's a level 4 just by the size of his antlers. Well, if he's going to present his broadside like that, you can't argue wait for this little one to get out of the way and there we go he no, no he didn't go down right away we didn't double lung him didn't get the 100 percent quick kill unfortunately but he will go down that will be a vital shot so let's go ahead and walk on up here and see what we got if you like what you see so far do me a favor hit the subscribe button and the like button means a lot to me to see those absolutely puts a smile on my face also leave a comment down below i'll try to get back to you as soon as i can once i see it all right let's see here did he die yes he did go down so we're gonna go pick him up and we'll see what we got Okay, female blacktail calling. Not worried about females right now. It's the males that are going to look different. The females, I'm guessing, are going to stay the same. That might not be true, but I'm guessing that that's what we'll have, is we'll have females that look exactly the same as they do now. Alright, so we have the blood trail. We'll go ahead and follow that. Okay, let's see here. 
It was a vital hit. Okay, so he's at 25 to 50. Yeah, he's going down quick. Just a little bit further. Shouldn't be too much further. I'd say on the other side of these bushes here. Uh, yep, there's his outline. So we'll go ahead and go pick him up. Unfortunately, we won't have the quick kill, but that's all right. It should still be a nice bit of credits. And let's see what we got here. We got another gold at 77% quick kill. It's all right, 885 and another thousand plus credits into our wallet. We only got the left lung, or right lung, excuse me, right lung. That's all right. We'll go ahead and take it. Nice looking animal though. All right, let's keep moving. Get back to my binoculars here so I can spot. I could spot through the rifle, but spotting through the binoculars, I don't get the the wobble like you do on a gun. So we'll go ahead and use these. Just taking a look, seeing if we can find anything else to shoot. Oh, what? No, that's a female. All right. Oh, this fog is making it really hard to see in this. Hopefully the sun will get some of it to go away. I've noticed on... Oh, I've got a mill up. I've noticed on Layton that when we have uh, sun, sometimes it'll melt away the fog. All right, we're going to creep up here. I do not know the weight of this animal. So we're just going to creep on up here, see if we can get eyes on it, see what level it is. I'm probably going to shoot it anyway, just because I need the credits. We're trying to get enough money that if I find a diamond or a bunch of diamonds or a bunch of rares, I can still afford to put it in the lodge. Alright, there's the tracks. Another warning call, that's going to be him again. Yep, and it's this male elk. Looks like we disturbed the need zone. The wind's good. So we're going to keep on creeping up here. Just take our time. Now I am using Zag Tactics, so once I get on his tracks, I'll know whether or not he's going to be a diamond. So let me just go ahead and pull up the sheet here. We're looking at the Zag Calculator sheet, in case you're wondering. Be sure to check out ZaggyDK, or excuse me, Zaggy.DK, where you can find everything related to Zaggy, including his calculator. Alright, we got him right there. Get to my C38, try to take the scope off. Uh, and I'll tell you what, sometimes it gets frustrating trying to switch weapons and stuff like that when you have a controller that doesn't want to cooperate. There we go. Alright, lining up just for iron sights. And he will go down. That was almost a perfect shot in that situation. Yep, there he goes. We did get a vital hit. I can tell by the blood stain. He's at, yeah, he's 0 to 25. Yeah, he wasn't going far. Alright, now this is one of the animals that is going to be changing. You see those perfectly symmetrical racks right there? That is not going to be a thing. That's actually going to be the exception more than the rule once we have true racks. So if you get one of these and it is a diamond or a rare, put it in your lodge. Alright, let's keep moving. Let's see what else we can find to hunt. Well, I'm not seeing any other tracks or anything, so I think I'm going to wind things down. Look, guys, if you want to see more of my hunting, be sure to check me out on Twitch. That is twitch.tv slash solid7. Remember, replace the V with a 7. And we will call this a video. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. 
be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and we'll see you on the next hunt Solid 7 here. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. I'm live on Twitch Monday through Thursday starting at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hope to see you there.